Hey, what's up guys? John here from the Reaper blog. Today we're going to be looking at some scripts from x -Rain. These are included in the Repack extension. So there's a good chance you already have these. And these scripts that I'm showcasing today are going to be all about randomizing your audio items. So I've got a single one-shot hi-hat sample here. Let's play it. Repeat it a bunch of times. And if we play it back now, it's going to be the same sample every single time. And it's going to sound exactly the same every single time. It could be the greatest sound in the world, but it's still going to sound really repetitive and annoying um, after you hear it three times. Using these scripts in the action list, and to get to these scripts uh, easily because they have kind of different names, I found that typing in rand GUI tends to work the best. Nudge active takes volume randomly. And we'll start off with that. It comes up with this little interface. Here's our starting offset. And then here's the amount of randomization. You can see kind of the, um, the position or how random things will be. And you can generate a new random seed as well. So you just pick one you like. I wouldn't worry too much about the numbers. Just know that a lower number like like two is going to be pretty subtle and somewhere towards the middle is going to be fairly random. At 40 is going to be very random and probably not too useful. So let's try it at 20 and click apply. And on the actual items, this is the item volume, uh, not the take volume, not a take envelope, but uh, the actual item volume. So we got plus 3.4 minus 0 0.14. It's going up and down about 5 dB. So some of them are very loud. Some of them are pretty quiet. Not a perfect use of this. But if we put this down to a subtle number like 3 and randomize this a little bit, and we'll click apply. So we got plus 1.2, 0 0.19, 0 0.48, 0 0.39. So we're always a little bit different. Let's try that. Fairly subtle. I think that works a lot better. Um, it is different enough. Next up is pan active takes randomly. So this one is going to pan uh, the takes, uh, not the items, but the actual little takes. So it's going to open up the take pan envelope uh, on each of these items and, and assign a different flat uh, value across. So we're going to just move this to, yeah, let's do 10%, randomize, and click apply. And this takes a couple seconds because it's uh, creating the envelope, picking a value, setting it for each of these items in a loop. So it's a little bit slower than the other one. Uh, but here's the result now. It moves around slightly, not something you'd probably do with uh, a hi-hat, but just, just as an example of, you know, it could be any sound. Let's pan this more to the left, uh, minus 56. And let's hit random again. And let's go a little bit more random. We'll click apply. And now these are all going to be panned more towards the left, but a little bit random towards the center. Cool. So that could be useful for some things, probably not hi-hats. All right, and the last one I'll show you is randomize take pitch. So we'll run that. And again, this window looks exactly the same as the others. So um, uh, if you have a bunch of them open, it can be a little bit confusing. Uh, maybe I'll bug Xram to actually put in some title here so we know which one is displayed. But anyways, uh, we have this offset for the amount of pitch. So if we set this to... Uh, minus 5 is going to be somewhere around minus 5 um, as our starting point. All of these will be pitched down to minus 5. And if we set this to 0, it, they're all going to be around minus 5. This isn't uh, exact. It's, you know, it's still a range. We can move this dot around by a, a wide margin. It doesn't snap to uh, pitch exactly. 
But the whole point is that it's going to be random. So we can set these to minus three and then randomize this a little bit, like seven, hit random a couple times, hit apply. And now this is the item, not uh, take envelope that's getting the, uh, the pitch shift. So each one of these items, if we look in the media item properties, the pitch adjust in semitones has changed. Okay, and let's hear that. So let's go back to the starting point with this one. Back to our starting point, going to duplicate this item a bunch of times. And I will apply some pitch shift, uh, set this to zero. And we will set this to like two. All right. Okay. And we'll open up the one for nudging the item volumes. So we'll run that. And this one, I'm going to start off. These are all a bit too loud to begin with, so I'm going to set this to, to minus two and randomize it a little bit. I like them to be kind of closely spaced, or you just get one that's way off. Something like that. That's fairly evenly spaced. And let's hear what we got so far. So that's a fairly subtle thing, and in a mix, it's going to not sound so static. Uh, this works great if you're making variations for sound effects. Um, not just in musical applications, you can use this for um, making gun sounds or um, getting a little bit of variation on footsteps and things like that. So there you go, guys. Three little scripts that are super helpful. Nudge Active takes volume, Pan Active takes randomly, and Randomize Take Pitch. Three scripts from XRAM are really helpful for uh, creating randomization in your one-shot samples. Or if you have a few variations of samples, you can create multiple variations of samples. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.